Brian Szymanski, Curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we're going to talk about the most important thing on a submarine. We are on board the submarine USS Bakuna, SS319, which is part of Independent Seaport Museum's collection. So if you come to the Philadelphia area to visit Battleship New Jersey, be sure to buy one of our partner tickets with ISM to be able to visit multiple museum ships during your time here. So, what is the most important thing on a submarine? Is it the torpedoes? Is it the engines? No, those didn't turn submarines into a war-winning weapon. This thing right here, the ship's distilling plant, or the evaporators, did. The submarines of yesteryear uh, were coastal defense vessels, and they replaced the early monitors. But this is what allowed submarines to replace battleships as the premier anti-surface warship in the Navy. The ability to make fresh water means that your boat can now stay out at sea for a long time, indefinitely on modern nuclear ships. Uh, so it means that you're no longer a coastal defense vessel, you are a true ocean-going warship. So, uh, the distilling plant here is actually two separate units, so in case one breaks down, they can create about 500 gallons of fresh water in a day. In any given week, the boat will use about 5,000 gallons of water, uh, and the boat has the capacity for about 4,000 gallons. Uh, so, watching how much water you're using is extremely important on a submarine, even more so than on the battleship. Battleship New Jersey has uh, three evaporators in our distilling plant. Two up in the forward diesel generator room, and then one in number three engine room as a backup in case that space goes down. Uh, both of submarine Bakunas are here in their forward uh, engine room, where two of their four uh, diesel motors are. So this is using electrical power from the batteries to heat salt water and uh, evaporate it, and then you collect that steam and it is pure fresh water that you can drink with. Drinking isn't actually the most important of the four uses for the water. So in order of importance, let's go through those. On the submarine, the first most important use of your fresh water is for rehydrating your lead acid batteries. A Guppy 1A submarine like Bakuna has 252 lead acid batteries on them. Uh, and the acid starts to dry out. So every couple of days, you have to rehydrate it with fresh water. You have to use fresh water because if the salt water interacts with the lead acid, there's a good chance it could explode. Uh, so let's just keep that away. The second use for your water is for cooking and drinking. Uh, a boat like Bakuna would have 80, maybe 90 guys on board max. So obviously they've got basic human functions uh, and need to eat and drink. So I guess they can use some of that uh, 500 gallons a day. The third use is for keeping your work site clean. You gotta clean all the machinery and everything else. Uh, can you imagine how greasy it would be here in the engine room? You gotta clean all that stuff down. And of course, uh, that brings us to our fourth use, which is cleaning the sailors. Far less important than anything else. Um, and if you ever get the chance to visit a submarine, the first thing you'll notice when you go on board is the smell. Um, part of that is the diesel. Um, part of that is definitely the cig cigarette smoke. Um, but there's a definite ode to sailor uh, to these boats uh, because unless you're one of the boat's three cooks, you're not showering all that often, maybe once a week. Um, so why do the cooks get preference, even ahead of the captain? They're handling your food. A World War II submarine like Bakuna has four shower stalls. However, when you leave on a patrol, those shower store stalls are filled with food and other supplies. So you gotta eat your way into them to get your first shower, uh, and then you better take a Navy shower because 
we don't have enough water for a Hollywood shower. One of my favorite stories about, uh, tangentially, about the evaporators on a fleet type submarine uh, comes from engineman second class Mike Holmgren, who served on SS-322, one of Bakuna's uh, sister ships known as the Black Fin. Uh, they stopped in Yokosuka, Japan, at the major U.S. fleet base there, and uh, he and a couple of his shipmates decided to go to a Japanese bathhouse. Uh, and within a very short time of being in the water there, uh, the owner of the establishment came in telling them to get out. And they were like, oh, we, we didn't do anything wrong. We, we've been good, I swear. Well, the owner just pointed at the oil slick in the water um, as an excuse to get rid of them. And, uh, yeah, so that tells you just how little opportunity you have to bathe on a fleet-type submarine. How often do you normally shower? Let us know in the comments section down below. Uh, I, I usually shower more than a fleet-type submarine sailor. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other businesses and uh, private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support, and there are links in the description if you would like to continue to support our museum or support the ongoing restoration efforts on USS Bakuna, which is part of Independent Seaport Museum's collection. Another way you can support us is by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel so more people find out about uh, our museum. We've also left the information down there for Independent Seaport Museum's channel so that you can like, share, and subscribe to them too. Chances are, if you like the content we're creating, you'll like their stuff as well. Thanks for watching. This video was filmed with uh, content help from my counterpart here, Greg Williams. Greg shows up in all of the Bakuna videos that ISM produces, and uh, he is the submarine manager here. So thank you for your support, Greg.